that does strike me, uh, I wouldn't say worrying per se. As, as like a Shenmue fan, I understand why it's the way it is. But I think newcomers to the series could be possibly turned off a little bit because um, Shenmue's gameplay and like the atmosphere and uh, the overall experience you get is very dependent on the location that the game takes place. So like Shenmue 1, uh, you're, you're in Ryo's hometown and the game itself feels warming. It feels like you're around family. It feels like you're in a place that you're familiar with. Yeah, definitely, definitely. It, yeah, like, anybody would agree, like, when you're playing Shenmue 1, you feel like you're in comfortable, familiar territory. Yeah. Except for when you fight the Mad Angels. <laughs> <laughs> Them crazy so, bastards. <laughs> oh my god. I, I still have nightmares about that really tall dude at the end of the 80-man battle. Because, like, <laughs> dude, I try so hard to just, like... <laughs> when I'm running through the 80-man uh, the battle, I literally roundhouse kick everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's really how you Because it's it. one, it's one hit KO. It's just like, bam, bam, <laughs> yeah. bam. Then that last guy just kills me and it just ruins the whole street. But anyway, I'm going <laughs> off topic. So when you go into Shenmue 2, uh, literally Ryo is going to a new place. You know, he's going somewhere he doesn't know. Uh, and like the gameplay and the music uh, in the perspective of somebody who comes from Japan, uh, like on terms of Shenmue's story, it all feels very foreign. You don't know anybody. People are trying to screw you over. You're trying to find directions everywhere. And Shenmue 2's gameplay and like the overall experience mirrors that. Going into Shenmue 3, assuming uh, Shenmue 3 covers what we all assume would be chapters 5 and 6, is the story of Ryo self-developing himself and finding inner peace and studying martial arts and becoming like just like an overall better person who is not seeking revenge. Yeah. Uh, which you kind of start to see at the end of Shenmue 2. And for that experience, or for that idea to be an overall experience in Shenmue 3, if it does follow that formula of Shenmue 1 and 2, which, you know, uh, knowing Yu Suzuki, uh, you know, I, I have no idea because his games are very, uh, uh, how should I say, like, they're very influential in a way where, like, you might know, like, what's going to happen, but, like, he describes games in such a way that they feel, like, very new and refreshing. Um, which, you know, is what we experienced when we went from Shenmue 1 to 2 and then going to Shenmue 3. Like I said, Ryo is becoming a better person and more uh, uh, spiritually sound yeah. instead of being hell-bent on revenge. And for the game to express that experience, the game has to feel very, like, somber. It has to feel yeah, very calming. Quite, quite it has to calm, feel very... Right? Yeah, it has to feel like you are alone as a beat-down person being rebuilt from a spiritual standpoint. And I feel like a lot of people in this day and age expect games to be like in your face and like yeah, action and, yeah, you know like shooting and all that and mm. i feel like shenmue 3 won't really appeal to those kind of people Definitely so the thing that worries me is since sadly it seems to be that the casual gamers are really you know into that um, not to typecast everybody obviously i'm being very I'm, I'm making a big generalization right now yeah <laughs> um I feel like Shenmue might get a bad image when the game itself per perfectly describes what it's trying to do, mm. but people make it look bad because they say it's quote unquote boring. boring. Yeah, yeah. That, so that, that's, that's the that's, same problem one and two had basically, one not Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Most people expect it to be like in your face, but like a lot of people don't understand that Shenmue is an experience. Exactly. It's, yeah. about, uh, some people would argue it's not even a game, although it is because it has fail states and everything that makes a game. Mm. Um, but it's an experience. Like you're living the life of this person. And you, as the player, are developing with this person. So uh, I just feel like going into Shenmue 3, like people will probably think it's kind of boring. And then a lot of people won't understand why it's the way it is because they never played the first two games. Because, you know, the first two games are pretty obscure and the fact that they're for the Dreamcast and the original Xbox. Dude, uh, don't... This is why Sega needs to release Shenmue HD, man. Yeah. Right there. That is the reason why. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's yeah, just, exactly. Oh, it's shocking. Like, it is shocking. Yeah. They really need to, like, even if they can't get the licenses for everything, like the music or whatever, um, at least get something out there. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Like, videos don't help. Like, the DVD that came with Shenmue 2 on the Xbox, Terrible. absolute garbage, does not represent yep. the game in any way. Definitely. The only thing I will say that comes good out of that is uh, the audio uh, remastering that they did was pretty cool, but other than that, total crap. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, so that's really the thing that worries me about Shenmue 3. Yeah, definitely. It, it's as you as you mentioned, like you know, most gamers seem to be into more, you know, action oriented games these days. Yeah, Call and of Duty. Exactly. Yeah. 
Oh, true, yeah, oh gosh. Hazuki and, Warfare. <laughs> and this, you know, it's obviously with number three taking place um, in a much more like rural location. As you mentioned, it, it, it'll actually lend better to that whole calm atmosphere. You yeah. Know? yeah. Um, but obviously, true Shenmue fans will appreciate that when compared to casual you know, gamers. But yeah, hopefully it does well. Hopefully it does well. And we got number four then, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what scares me because if uh, if Shenmue 3 doesn't do well at retail, there's a possibility we might not get a Shenmue 4 and 5 mm -hmm. and we'll be left at another cliffhanger and um, Yu Suzuki good. said himself he'll have to find a successor. Uh, I don't know if that means that somebody to take over the series for him or like another game to take, you know, what, what Shenmue was 4 was trying to get across, yeah. 